Welcome, Welcome to, to Smart, Smart Science. Science. In our video for today, we will study what would happen if all the trees disappeared. Are you ready, Sophia? I'm always ready to study, Professor William. Imagine if there were no more trees in the world. It's an awful thought. No more shady, leafy canopies. No more scented pine needles on the ground. No more flowering magnolias or cherry blossoms. No more protection from frigid winter winds. The world would seem naked without trees. It's so scary. Can we still live if all the trees gone? Let's watch this short film to answer your question, Sophia. Can we live without trees? Did you know that algae and trees were the first forms of life on Earth 5 million years ago? It was because they produced oxygen that human beings could evolve so quickly. Today there are billions of people inhabiting our planet, and our living environment has undergone many changes. Do we still need trees? Absolutely. After all the algae in the oceans and the trees on land produce the largest percentage of oxygen on Earth. And we can't live without oxygen. They also absorb CO2 from the air. This is a good thing because the increasing emission of greenhouse gases is releasing so much CO2 into the atmosphere that the result is an acceleration of global warming. By absorbing CO2, trees are slowing this process immediately. And did you know that a large part of the fine dust we produce is filtered out of the air by trees? This means they're making the air a lot healthier. But this isn't all. A single tree supports the lives of more than 250 species of plants and animals and so contributes to biodiversity. For instance, with its pollen bee colonies can pollinate other plants and keep them reproducing. Furthermore trees provide a natural cooling effect, enhance good drainage, serve as a shelter form the wind, and make people happier. Happier? Absolutely. Because we are more creative, more involved with others, and more active when we're surrounded by trees. So we also smile more often and are less often sick. When you think about it, trees are really fantastic. But all over the world even in the Netherlands the number of trees is declining. The trees that remain can no longer deal with our CO2 emissions. Couldn't we reverse this trend? Yes, we can. In the middle of Graven in the Netherlands there are many people who know how important trees are. These are the people who run the nurseries of Greenford Mid and Graven. They really want to change things around and make the world a greener policy. They apply 100% sustainable methods to let young trees grow, to make them useful for fulfilling their important work elsewhere. This is actually making the middle of Braven a green cradle for both Netherlands and other countries. They also collaborate with artists and designers to devise new ways to make our world greener. In this way more people can understand how important trees are for a safe, healthy and attractive living in Euroland. After all, we wouldn't even be here without plants. What would you do to make our world greener? After I watch the video, I like to plant mini trees Professor William. Here are the best reasons to plant and care for trees or defend a tree's standing. Number 1. Trees combat climate change. Excess carbon dioxide, CO2, caused by many factors is a building up in our atmosphere and contributing to climate change. Trees absorb CO2, removing and storing the carbon while releasing the oxygen back into the air. In one year, an acre of mature trees absorbs the amount of CO2 produced when you drive your car 26,000 miles. Number 2. Trees clean the air. Trees absorb odors and pollutant gases, nitrogen oxides, ammonia, sulfur dioxide and ozone, and filter particulates out of the air by trapping them on their leaves and bark. Number 3. Trees provide oxygen. In one year an acre of mature trees can provide enough oxygen for 18 people. Number 4. Trees cool the streets and the city. Average temperatures in Los Angeles have risen 6 degrees Fahrenheit in the last 50 years, as tree coverage has declined and the number of heat-absorbing roads and buildings has increased. Trees cool the city by up to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, by shading our homes and streets, breaking up urban heat islands and releasing water vapor into the air through their leaves. Number 5. Trees conserve energy. 
Three trees placed strategically around a single-family home can cut summer air conditioning needs by up to 50%. By reducing the energy demand for cooling our houses, we reduce carbon dioxide and other pollution emissions from power plants. Number 6. Trees save water. Shade from trees slows water evaporation from thirsty lawns. Most newly planted trees need only 15 gallons of water a week. As trees transpire, they increase atmospheric moisture. Number 7. Trees help prevent water pollution. Trees reduce runoff by breaking rainfall thus allowing the water to flow down the trunk and into the earth below the tree. This prevents stormwater from carrying pollutants to the ocean. When mulched, trees act like a sponge that filters this water naturally and uses it to recharge groundwater supplies. Number 8. Tree Shield Children from Ultraviolet Rays Skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the United States. Trees reduce UVB exposure by about 50%, thus providing protection to children on school campuses and playgrounds, where children spend hours outdoors. Number 9. Trees provide a canopy and habitat for wildlife. Sycamore and oak are among the many urban species that provide excellent urban homes for birds, bees, possums and squirrels. Number 10. Trees provide food. An apple tree can yield up to 15 to 20 bushels of fruit per year and can be planted on the tiniest urban lot. Aside from fruit for humans, trees provide food for birds and wildlife. Wow! I will plant many trees to help the nature. Very good Sophia. That's our video for today. See you next time.